Once again, as ever, I'm very grateful to uh, people for commenting on my uh, YouTube videos, and I'm particularly grateful to Larissa Kiriakides, who, um, despite uh, the wonderful Greek name, uh, appears to be Russian, and she says, well, why, why am I speculating about Mr. Putin when I um, am not focusing on all the filth in my own country? Well, I do focus on both, as I hope um, you will you will know. Um, I certainly don't pull my punches when it comes to um, the cleansing of the uh, Orgian stables. I think um, British politics is badly in need of a wash. But so too is the Kremlin. And given the fact that Larissa has mentioned it, I think I want to go into a little bit more detail. Um, there, there was a book. There was a book published by a man called Belkovsky. And in that book, there's about a two-page um, treatment of whether or not Mr. Putin is gay. And it seems that Putin spends much of his time uh, with his two dogs, Labrador Connie and Bulgarian shepherd dog Buffy. In fact, I know some of his puppies. And uh, the writer goes on to look at um, his two daughters, Maria and Ekaterina. Uh, I, I don't really know where they fit into the story, I must say. But then he goes on to speculate that Putin um, is gay. And, I mean, it, it's almost as far-fetched as suggesting that um, Gordon Brown or uh, Prince Edward or, God forbid, um, you know, various foreign secretaries might uh, be harbouring homosexual tendencies, latent or expressed. Um, there will never be any uh, evidence for a latent homosexual tendency anyway, uh, unless Mr Putin has started sharing hotel bedrooms. And even then, um, the only evidence would be of his parsimony. Um, but, you know, there has been rumour about the great and the good uh, being gay for many years. Why? Because, you know, that sort of speculation grows, particularly with those people who make laws or make pronouncements which are, frankly, homophobic. Putin is one of them. Uh, Pope Paul VI is perhaps another. Um, claims made about Pope Paul VI by Franco Belgrande. Um, Pope Paul VI actually challenged those claims publicly and demanded a day of prayer for the perceived insult. Um, in fact, I think what he got was a weekend of sniggers. Um, and uh, maybe Belkovsky suspects Putin has been surfing the internet uh, to whet his curiosity and his uh, internet history is about to made, be made public by Edward Snowden. Who knows? I, some, uh, you know, maybe that's why Edward Snowden um, was given um, amnesty, uh, refuge. Somehow I think it's unlikely. Maybe um, uh, the story is simply a, 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 a sort of um, speculative story. What's extraordinary is that Belkovsky uh, didn't fall out of a... Uh, top floor window, and that then Putin went on to sign Article 621 saying that um, promoting a non traditional lifestyle uh, was something that would produce initially fines, then prisons, prison sentences ratcheted up by the um, uh, Speaker of the Duma. Uh, a man called Piotr Tolstoy, who's very proud of his achievement there, and now, um, uh, and, and, and now something which encompasses the whole of the Russian population, not just people under 18. So I think there's a lot to be said for the speech in Hamlet, or, or, the, or the line in Hamlet, when Hamlet is showing his mother the play, and he turns to his mother and says, uh, Madam, how like you uh, the play? And she says, Methinks uh, the lady doth protest too much. And maybe that is Mr. Putin's problem. Uh, but maybe Mr. Putin has, um, has more pressing issues on his mind, like cancer, uh, like survival, 
um, like keeping up a front rather than keeping up a beard. And, um, you know, whether Alina Kabayeva is that beard or not, I suspect in the long run isn't going to matter that much, is it? Um, I, I know myself from dealing with cancer, it sort of comes and goes, it weakens one, and uh, Mr. Putin must be having a very tough time of it, and I'm very sympathetic about that, as I'm not terribly sympathetic about the speculation about whether or not he's gay, um, and uh, it doesn't really matter that much, does it, in the long run, but I would I, I, I wouldn't hesitate to dish the dirt on British politicians in the same way as I wouldn't hesitate to um, uh, to say what I read about Russian politicians. You know, we uh, there, there is there is an absolute standard of service in political life, and that is to be good and to be um, straightforward and to try and do the best for the people one represents. Putin is not doing so, and nor indeed are many people in the current British government. There we are.